hey guys welcome back to the video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can use a button to go to your next level like if currently i am at level 2 and i click on the next button it will take me to the level 3 and this button will keep working until i reach the last level we can also use this previous button to go to the previous level and as we are using only one widget here you don't have to create multiple widget for every single level you can also download this project from my patreon where also you will find a link to a website from where you can copy and paste the blueprint code directly into your project to save your time the link is in the description so now let's see how to do it so to save some time i've already created this collision box if i'll go inside this you can see we have our next button and the previous button and if i'll go outside it the widget will be removed all right so here we have that widget let's make a on clicked event for the next button so scroll all the way down and add a on clicked event from here Alright, so when we'll click on the next button, what we want to do is we want to open a level. And here you can see in the level name, we have to specify that which level we want to open. And in our case, there is no specific level that we want to open because it will depend on which level we currently are and what is its next level. So first, let me show you my levels. So if I go to the maps, you can see I have a single map that is called third person map. So let's rename this to level 1 and just remember one thing you have to name all of your levels in a numeric sequence so here i am duplicating this map to show you the example so here what we want when we are at level 1 we want to go to level 2 then level 3 then level 4 then level 5 just by clicking a single button so to do that you can notice one thing here that all these levels have one thing in common yeah so that one thing that is common in all these maps is the keyword level and a single difference in all these levels is the numeric value at the end so if we are at level 1 and we want to go to level 2 so for that all we have to do is to change our current level numeric value to plus 1 this way we can go to every next level depending on our current level name so to do that first let's keep this open level node aside and search for get current level name there you go now this node will give you the current level name once you got the current level name search for the get substring now what this node will do here you can see it's taking the start index and the length now what does that mean if i'll take you to the level here you can see every letter of the word have its own index number and this starts from zero and if you want to get the numeric letter of the string you have to start from five and from then how many more letters you want to get is the length so we want to start from 1 and the length will depend on how many levels you have in your game like if you have 100 levels then it will require the length of 3 as 100 has 3 digits so let's go back to the open level ui and set start index parameter to 5 and you can keep length according to how many levels you have in your game i'm just typing 100 here so now this return value should give us the numeric value of the level so let's test this first let's print if we get the correct value So let's go to the finish line let's click on next and here you can see it has given us the numeric value that is one because we were at the level one so it's working and now we need to add this value by one but it's a string so let's convert it to the integer first and now let's add the value by one there you go and now let's search for the append node there you go and now it needs a and b parameter so at a we are going to type level why we type level here so if i'll go to our level you can see every map have the level keyword at the starting so we typed level here and we connected the added value to the b input why we did that because it will just add the b string in front of the a so if the b value is 2 it will add 2 at the end if it's 3 then 3 then 4 it just works like that and that's it this will return the name of our next level so now let's just search for the open level by name node and connect the parameters and then the execution pin so now this should work so for the debugging purpose let's just print the return value so let's compile and see if it works let's go to the finish line and let's click on the next so here you can see it is working perfectly fine go to the finish line again click on next we are at level 3 go again click on next we are at level 4 go again click on next we are at level 5 and yeah it is working perfectly fine and we have to add the functionality for the previous button also so it's quite easy just go to your button and add a on clicked event for it 
there you go and just copy all the code we wrote for the next button and just connect the execution pin all we have to change is this plus operator and just use the minus operator instead so let's play and go to the finish line click on next go to the finish line again and let's click on the previous this time you can see we are at level 1 and it's working but here's the problem if i click on the previous button when i am at level 1 you can see we have an error so this is obvious because we don't have any level 0 in our game and same for the level 5 if we click the next button at level 5 we will have the error so to fix this issue all we can do is just hide this button same for the next button so to add the hiding functionality let's call the event construct which will be fired when this ui will be created so uh, let's search for the get current level name and connect the execution pin from the return value search for the equal operator and search for level 1 and let's add a branch connect the pins so if your current level is equals to 1 you want to hide the previous button so search for the set visibility node and set it to be hidden okay so now we have to do the same thing for the next button so uh, let's copy this paste and instead of level 1 you can see the last level is level 5 so when we are at level 5 we want to hide this next button so for that uh, let's type the level 5 here and if it is equals to level 5 then we are going to uh, hide the next button there you go and connect it to the target so that's all and now uh, let's add a little sequence here so search for sequence uh, it's optional you can just directly connect them but I'm using sequence here so the sequence will go to this and then this okay so now uh, we are done so let's see if it works or not let's go to finish line you can see the previous button is hidden now because we are at level 1 let's go to finish line again and here you can see we have previous because we are at level 2 let's go all the way to level 5 and we are at level 5 here you can see the next button is hidden now and we can only go to the previous level so let's go there and you can see it is working perfectly fine so you can download this project from my patreon the link is in the description and you can also join my discord server where you can share the issues related to your project where other devs will help you build your own game my discord link is also in the description so make sure to join it and if this video helped you out make sure to drop a like and subscribe to this youtube channel till then see you bye bye